Hi everyone, today's class is for my friends who need to stretch after running. I personally went running for the first time in a long time the other day and I had forgotten how terribly painful it feels after that first run. The sequence I'm teaching today helped my legs feel so much better. So I know if you're a runner and not stretching enough like most of us do, then your body is going to love you after today's class. Let's get started. We're gonna use an open hammock today. So let's come behind the hammock to begin and we're going to bring in your right leg first. So opening up the hammock, grab that back edge and wave it on out. Start to creep the hands along the edge of the fabric until you get to the other side. And then you're gonna bring that right foot inside. So we're gonna bring the hammock all the way up the leg. For me personally, I love open hammock things on the body when I'm feeling tired or painful sore muscles. So bringing that right leg inside, let's start to flex the foot and just notice how that leg is feeling in the hamstring and the quads and the ankle, just checking into the body here before we start to stretch and find a little bit more movement. Let's take a deep breath in. Coming and sensing the body as you exhale. Beautiful, feeling those shoulders relax down the back. Let's start to bring the fingertips on the inside to the middle of the fabric and just rest the hand on the hammock. You're going to keep the hips over that standing ankle, that grounded leg, and just start to lean the chest over into the middle of the hammock. So coming into just a gentle hamstring stretch to begin with. Let's start to bring some movement to the ankle. So rolling out through the ankle. I was so surprised how sore my feet and ankles were when I went running. And we'll move those circles in the other direction. Just gently moving some of that tension out of the body. Let's take one more big breath in here. Long breath out, coming back to stillness. And then starting to bring the heart over the hips. You're gonna change the hand grip so fingertips turn out to the outside of the hammock and grip up nice and high. You're gonna to start to lean the hips forward, but you're not going to come into a split and keep that left heel that's on the ground staying connected to the ground. So start to lean the hips forward as far as you can go. So try not to come into a full split. And if you feel anything in the knees, especially that lifted leg in the hammock, then you wanna tighten the uh, muscles around the knee. So you'll start to bend that, bend the knee a little bit to activate the muscles. We're gonna take a little bit of movement here. So you're gonna press the hips forward, take a little pulse down and then draw it back up. You might come all the way back up to the top. So stacking the hip over the ankle or you might only come a little way. So pulsing it down and up, down and up, squeezing the inner thighs together as you come back up and keeping the body active, those legs active as you come down as well. This is a super gentle stretch. So you can sort of activate and warm up those tight muscles as you also stretch them out. Keeping the core, the belly button pulling in. We're here for three, two, and one. Bring the hips back to center, beautiful. And you're going to bring the body to the left. So bring it away to the long edge of the mat, turning away from your standing leg or away from the hammock, I should say. You're gonna reach both hands up high onto the fabric. So the right hand that's closest is gonna reach up nice and high. The opposite hand, the left hand is gonna reach across the body nice and low. So you're flexing through that hammock leg, start to lean the hips towards the hammock, but you're not coming all the way down. So stay active through the legs. And that left toe might turn outwards just a little bit just to protect the knee. You're leaning down as far as you can and then start to pulse it back up. Maybe the hip comes all the way back over the top of the ankle or just a little bit, pulsing it down and up. We're gonna be here for five. Keep the core active for three, two, and one. Bring the hips back over that standing leg, turning away from the hammocks to release. Find some balance here, turning the knee internally, turning away from the hammock, back to the hammock. Your hands are gonna reach up nice and high onto the edge that's closest to you. The fingertips are on the inside of the hammock, thumbs are on the outside. Palms are facing away from each other. So from here you're going to, it'll be different depending on how high the hammock is. So if the hammock is really high, then you might be lifted up through the heel. And you can also always bring that hammock down the leg if that's more comfortable. We're gonna to start to pulse it back. So bending through your supporting leg that's on the ground. So you can open up through the hip flexor, pressing that right hip bone down towards the ground to square out the hips. 
You might even uh, engage the glutes a little bit as well. And then you're gonna come back to center, maybe the hips stack over the ankle or maybe not. Lowering down, so lifting up a little bit or a lot and then lowering down, we're pulsing down and up. We're gonna be here for five, keeping the core tucked, three, two, and one, coming back to center. Turning all the way back to the front, so to the long edge, where back you, where back the way you came, all the way back to the front, hips turn back to face the hammock. You're gonna bring your heel in towards your left leg, so externally rotating your knee, flexing through the foot that's in the hammock. Reaching up nice and high, notice if this is enough for you today, so you can start to feel an outer thigh stretch on that lifted leg. If you're okay here, you want a little bit more, you'll start to lean forward. So leaning the hips forward. We're just gonna hold here today. If you don't feel much here, you're quite open in your hips, or you haven't gone for a run today and you just wanna stretch the lower body, you're gonna reach up high, and you're gonna bring the shoulders through the center of the hammock, and start to press your shoulders back, lifting up the chest, so that you can flex the um, left foot, or right foot, sorry, that's in the hammock. Sort of bringing that shin closer to the chest. We're gonna be here for two more breaths, big breath in. Long breath out. Maybe sliding down a little bit more. One more big breath in. And out. Coming back to center, so bending through the standing leg. Bring the shoulders all the way through. Weight is on the standing leg, not in the hammock. You're gonna keep that left, uh, sorry, the right heel uh, coming around the outside of the left leg and you're gonna reach up high with your left hand so the hands are gonna the left hand is gonna turn outwards so if palm faces away fingertips on the middle of the hammock right hand reaches through between your arm and the hammock reaches on through around the outside to so that left side keeping the leg crossing the body and you're simply going to come into a spinal twist here. So the hand can rest on the knee. As you press that right shoulder into the hammock and twist and turn, you might even bring the gaze to the back of your space underneath that left shoulder. I'm gonna take a big breath in here, feel that stretch. And a long breath out, long through the crown of the head. Twist a little bit more. Beautiful, bring the gaze back to the front. We'll let go of the left hands, bring everything back to center. R bring the right leg out long, so extend the right leg. You're gonna bring your left hand to the outside of the right part of the hammock, and that right hand's gonna reach behind you. So standing big to toe. You might even bring that gaze to the right thumb, looking back, take a big inhale. Long exhale, twisting from the belly button. Bring the gaze back to the hammock, unwinds, control. And then you're turning away into that long edge of the mat again. So turning away from the hammock into that straddle shape. Reaching your left hand to the side of the body and reach it up and over reaching for the hammock. So both hands are grabbing onto the hammock. And you're opening up through that left side of the body. So noticing if you can grow longer, bringing the ribs away from the hips on both sides of the body. So longer through the sides of the body. As you twist open through the left shoulder, you might bring the gaze up or it might stay looking down. Take one more big breath in for length. As you exhale, can you twist a little bit deeper? Maybe slide the hands down the hammock just a little bit to deepen that side body stretch. And then release the hammock, turning the hips away from the hammock once again. Turning away. Beautiful. Without grabbing onto the hammock, if you can, you're gonna bring your right hand to the ground. If your hands cannot reach the ground, you're bringing your hands to your knees. So option one, knees, hands to knees, bending through that left knee. Otherwise, the right hand comes to the ground. We're twisting in the other direction. So if your hands are on your knees, you're gonna bring that le left hand to your lower back, to the lumbar spine, and take a twist look up over the left shoulder. If this feels okay here, you'd like a deeper stretch, that right hand might be on the ground. The left hand might stay on the lower back, or maybe it reaches up to the sky. So taking a twist here, we're here for three. Big breath in, two, big breath out, one. Both hands come to the ground, framing your front foot. 
from here, you're going to keep the hips facing to the ground. So keep pressing down through your right hip bone. And then start to straighten through the left leg and then bend it again. If this was too much or you are not able to reach the ground here, again, those hands are gonna come to the knee. You're simply going to take a little pulse to the back, playing with straightening the left leg, that grounded leg, and then bending it over the ankle. We're here for three, two, and one. If your hands are on the ground, bring them to your knees, and then pressing all the way up to standing. Nice and strong through that leg, turning your hips back to the front of the space, all the way back to the front. Reaching up nice and high on the hammock. Actually, no, you're gonna bring the hammock underneath the knee and then reach up nice and high. Coming onto the ball of your left foot, both feet are gonna come inside of the hammock. So start to bring weight into your hand grip, floating that left leg so you're not swinging. Then bring that left knee into the chest and both feet will come inside. Your right leg comes out and to the ground. So your left leg is now in the hammock. And bring the hammock up and around the leg, spreading it out evenly along the leg. You're gonna bring the fingertips to the inside of the hammock, flexing through that, that lifted leg, and then a gentle hamstring stretch, leaning the head through the center as you look to the knee. Let's take some ankle rolls here, so rolling through the left ankle, about three rolls in each direction. And then the other way. Just noticing how that ankle on this side is feeling. And then gently coming back to center, back to stillness. And then lifting the heart over the hips. Change your hand grip, fingertips out. Reach up nice and high. Keeping that right heel grounded, start to lean the hips to the front. Only as far as you can start to feel the stretch. And then bring the hips back. So lowering down and pulsing back. So you're squeezing inner thighs together as you also find that stretching point through the legs. And each time you lower down, maybe you go a little bit further or maybe you play with your edge and just come into the stretch that is comfortable. We're here for three, two, and one. Coming back to center with the hips, turning to the long edge of the mat away from the hammock. You're gonna reach up high with your left hand, right hand reaches down low across the body, and then start to lean in towards the fabric, and then back. So gently pulsing down through the hips, leaning into the hammock, and then back. So noticing how um, much integrity is in the active muscles as they stretch. We're here for three, two, squeeze those inner thighs, one, come back to center, turning away from the hammock release. You can keep one hand hanging on as you bend the knee, turning away from the hammock. So the hands are gonna turn outwards. So fingers grab the inside of the hammock in through the middle, palms face out. And you're going to start to lengthen through the spine, squeeze the glutes, and then start to lower the hips back behind you and then bring them back through center. So you're trying to feel into the hip flexor in that left leg, that lifted leg. So bending through the standing leg as you lower the hips back and then pull them forward. We hit for three, two, and one, coming back to center, turning all the way back to the front, hips all the way back to the front, facing the hammock, coming through for your pigeon pose. So heel comes in towards your right leg, externally rotating the knee. Staying here, if this feels like enough on the body, you start to feel a stretch here. Otherwise, you'll grip up high, flexing through that lifted foot. Take a nice big breath. Option here to keep that right heel grounded and lean the hips forward. Another option here, if you'd like a deeper stretch, is to reach on up high. Bring one shoulder through at a time to the front of the hammock. And again, noticing that lifted foot flex is flexed. And take two breaths here. Big inhale. And exhale. One more big inhale. And exhale. And then bending through the standing leg, bring it back underneath you, all the way to standing. Release the shoulders to the back. Keep that heel tucked into the side of the body, to the right side, crossing the body. 
You're gonna reach up nice and high with your right hand. The fingertips are gonna to come to the middle of the fabric, the middle of the hammock. That left hand threads underneath the right armpit to the outside of the hammock, rests on the knee, and you start to find a twist here through the spine. So pulling against the body. So that right hand that's up above, pulling against the, um, pulling against the hammock to twist the right shoulder open. The left shoulder is also pressing against the hammock, finding a little bit of tension. You might even bring that gaze to the back of the space underneath the right shoulder. One more big breath in here, feel that stretch. And exhale, twist a little deeper. Beautiful, coming back to center, bring the shoulder back through your unwind. Reaching up nice and high, release the grip. Extend the leg that's in the hammock. Coming through for a standing big toe to hand, opposite hand to toe. So right hand's gonna come to the outside of the left hammock. Left hand reaches behind you. So you're pressing the back of your right hand or right arm into the hammock as you try and keep the hips square. So dropping down through that left hip bone, the gaze can come to the left finger. Take a big breath in. Long breath out. And gently turning back to the front, gaze comes to the front. Rotating the shoulders back to the front. Let's open up to the long edge of the mat. Beautiful. From here, we're coming to the side body stretch. So the hand that's closest grips nice and low, right hand reaches up and over to the hammock. So noticing if you can keep both sides of the body really nice and long as you twist open through that right shoulder. And tucking through the pelvis, both hips are square, so dropping both hips down and you're keeping the hips stacked over the ankle as well. Take one more big breath in, find some more length. As you exhale, keep that length and fold a little bit deeper, maybe slide the hands down as you twist open a little bit more. And then coming all the way out, release the hammock. You're gonna turn your hips away from the hammock. So internally rotating the leg, reaching up nice and high for balance if you need it. Beautiful, and let's bring the hands down onto the knee. Staying here, if this feels like enough, you're gonna take a twist in the opposite direction. So twisting in the opposite direction, you can keep here. So the left hand stays on the knee, right hand's gonna come to your lumbar spine, to your hip, as you look up over the right shoulder. Another option here is to bring the left hand to the ground. And then option three is to reach the right hand to the sky. So opening up the wings all the way. Take one more big breath in and out. And then bring both hands either onto the ground or back to your knee. So to the ground, if you've got the flexibility in the hamstring or to the knee, if that's not available to you. And then from here, we're gonna take a little pulse back. So trying to straighten as much as you can that standing leg so it might be just a little tiny bit and then coming with that knee back over the ankle. So playing with the activation of the muscles as you also stretch them. So keep the muscles active as you stretch. We're here for three, two, and one. Bring that knee over the ankle, hands onto the knee. Press it all the way back up to standing and then turning to face the hammock all the way back to the front. Bring the hammock underneath your knee. Reaching up nice and high, you're gonna bring both feet into the hammock. So reaching up high, hand grip takes the weight. Bring both feet inside to meet. You're then gonna lift the hips up, bending through the elbows, and the hammock should come underneath your glutes to sit inside of the hammock. So the hammock is now underneath the glutes. You're sitting inside of the hammock, an open hammock. Reaching up to that back edge of the hammock, coming into an inverted cobra. If you're not okay with an inverted cobra, you're gonna come straight into Shavasana, so reaching the hammock over the head. If you're here in your <laughs> inverted cobra, sliding the hands down, sliding the head down, squeezing through the glutes to protect the lower back. And then if you're okay here, you feel safe, you can release the back of the hands to the ground. Let's take two long deep breaths here, big inhale. Long exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Releasing any tension in the head, the shoulders. And coming out of the lower back, you're going to keep the feet pressing into the hammock. Widen the feet out wide. So keep pressing to the hammock as you widen the feet and then bring the soles of the feet together in front of the hammock and locking the feet onto each side. 
So coming into a deeper inversion here, coming out of the lower back. You're gonna bring your hands up to the ground, look to the ground, hands to the ground, walk to the top of the mat. So walking to the back of the space, towards your glutes, and then starting to relax the shoulders down as the hands stay in place. The head might relax a little bit more as well. You can shake the head from side to side. Take a big breath in here. Long breath out. Take a little sway through the hips. Keep the hands in place. Just move the hips from side to side. Stretching through the sides of the body. Gently come back to center. Gently release the hands. So you'll slide back underneath your plumb line. Chin to chest. Reach on up underneath the knees onto that edge of the hammock that's closest. Feet are gonna widen, unlock, and slide back down together. Pull up, reach up, and you're gonna come into your Shavasana. So you may need to move the hammock past the glutes a little bit by lifting up. Bring the hammock all the way over the top of the head. So coming all the way inside of the hammock for your Shavasana, your cocoon. I'm gonna take three breaths here together, but if you would like to stay in your cocoon, your Shavasana for longer, that is totally okay. It's best to stay in a Shavasana for at least five to seven minutes for true rest to start to happen through the body. Let's take a deep breath in, fill up. And then let something go as you exhale. One more big breath in, because you can. And exhale. Beautiful. If you're gonna come out with me, then you'll kick your feet outside of the hammock. Again, you can say you're welcome to stay in your Shavasana. Reaching up onto the edge of the hammock to pull yourself up and bring your chin into your chest, sliding the shoulders through, keeping the hands behind the hammock. Great, seated rest, seated child's pose. And slowly bring the head over the heart and coming on out of the hammock. So that wraps up our class for today. Now, I would love to hear from you. What is the tightest part of your body? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you're wanting to continue stretching out, then I'd recommend this vinyasa flow class down below. Or if you're feeling warmed up and ready to get that pump, then maybe you'd like to try my 10 minute hit class over here. Enjoy.